Hi guys, it's Luke and Leo here from Everything Dragon. Hi. And today we are going to be taking a brief look at the Dracopedia Field Guide. This is a lovely book by William O'Connor with um, lots of illustrations done by him. Um, and yeah, we're just going to take a very brief look at it. A bit like our last book video, we don't want to give too much away as, um, you know, you should check it out for yourselves and but, it's really long and yeah, there's quite a lot of pages but as you can see as we head through the the book lots and lots of lovely dragon illustrations as we go through it each one hand drawn so uh this this particular one the um field guide goes into different types of dragons um all different species if you like um, which we'll we'll like we'll just touch a little bit on on each as there is quite a lot to get through so I think you'd say am amphitere am amphitere I'm sure somebody will tell am, me that, that amphitere am amphitere yeah you see there's like nice pictures of uh, well just black and white drawings illustrations an egg is that like a dragon egg yeah an egg of one of these types of dragons uh different different speed different types of those a, a swallow tail um a fire wing kind of looks like a dragon yeah moth wing gar a garden um and it does tell you um the, the different sizes that these supposedly are 30 centimetre wingspan so kind of looks like one of them dinosaurs that fly like a pterodactyl yeah yeah it does a bit doesn't it um and yeah so it goes through um talking about lots of these the a the asian dragon which uh, has a very distinctive look um like sort of longer body shows like a golden egg for one of those is that a dragon yeah, that's like a top view of an Asian dragon. Um, it says here that it lives in bamboo forests. And then different types. Look, jade dragon, oh, temple looks like a dragon. Lizard. Yeah. Well, I suppose dragons are kind of like big flying lizards, aren't they? Like them um, dragon lizards. A bonsai dragon, a bit like a bonsai tree. Nice. Yep. Yeah, lots of different types here. Like I say, we won't read through every single one as it's only a very brief overview. Sea of it. orcs. Yes, sea orcs. They look quite cool, don't they? They eat fish. Does, yeah. It looks like a fish. This doesn't look like a, like a like an eel or a Scottish sea dragon. I guess that's supposed to kind of look like the Loch Ness monster. <laughs> Yeah, uh, they're nicely colour coded all of these pages as well. So you know, to flick between look, the great dragons, that's kind of more what we uh, uh, associate with a dragon, a fire breather. That's like the Welsh dragon from the Welsh flag, a red dragon. Yeah, more fearsome looking. Look to that, they're very cool pictures. Everything's green except from the nose. And the tip of its wing. Yeah, the nose is just red. It's so, yeah. so whacked its nose. One of the few great dragon species that has feathers, this one. And A there's bird one dragon. From, the, from the top. Chinese yellow dragon. Yes. Lots of different types. Uh, so for our overview, a drake. So Drake, according to this book, is Drake a dragon. Drake the Rapper. No, not Drake the Rapper. Uh, a type of dragon that doesn't have wings, according to this. They walk on four legs. And that's a Drake egg. That is a Drake egg, yeah. Look at him. St. Cuthbert's Drake. He's he's quite big and bulky, isn't he? Yeah. Like a rock. Yeah. And him. Oh, look at him. I like him. Pit Drake. He's purple. Kind of looks like a Pokemon. It does look a bit like a Pokemon, doesn't it? And then in the next section... If he was, it would be pretty cool. We have Hydra. Dragon with multiple heads. One, two, three, four, five, six heads. Six heads. I think that's based on Greek mythology. The, the Hydra. I'm sure the Hydra in Greek mythology had five heads, but... 
One, a two, ball hydra. Four, five. Oh, that's got five heads. And five tails. Five tails. One, well, five, well, its tail splits off into five. This this one's got loads of little heads, like a huge body, and tiny little heads. I'll be running away from that one. No, definitely. All of them, probably. Look at him. That one kind of looks like something you would see inside. This the is the sea. one you'd want to run away from down here, this winged hydra. It uh, looks like he can run pretty quick. I would say. If dragons were real, I'd never leave my house. Yeah, especially if some of them look like these. A marine house and a basilisk. Remember the basilisk from Harry Potter? Uh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Very cool. These look more like lizards. He looks like a lizard, doesn't he? Yeah, I think there's like a dragon lizard. That's one of the biggest lizards in Komodo the world. Komodo dragon. Yeah, Komodo dragon. It's like a huge lizard that's poisonous. Arctic dragons. So I guess these ones that live in in very well in the Arctic. So look, these have like some of these have hair. I suppose that like a horse. does look a bit like a horse. That one, doesn't it? A killing dragon, but not killing. Kind of killing. 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 Yeah. Or Kylin, I don't know. I suppose like... That the looks like a reindeer. Yeah, with antlers. And the hair keeps them warm. There's so many different Look dragons. Him. He's got loads there. A cloud dragon. Cloud? Does he live in the clouds? Well, I don't know. I guess like, the hair makes him look a bit like a cloud. Storm dragon. Looks like a horse again. Worm. So these are ones... That's with, a snake. Yeah, these are ones... See, oh, like the basilisk from Harry Potter look more like that, didn't they? Yeah. Um, That's a snake, not a dragon. Yeah, they are more like big snakes with dragons' heads, aren't they? Yeah. Like yeah. them. Yeah. Look, look at that. It looks like a tiger plus snake plus dragon. Yeah. Very cool. Lindworm. Lots of mythology around those. And then what oh, have we got here? A rain. Cotil. Coatil, South rainbow. American, yeah. South American Coatil. That's an egg. Yeah. Purple egg. Yeah. Very cool. I like them the the rainbow colours and this. It's very cool, isn't it? How do they bend their necks? I don't really know. They must have different uh, joints into us. And what's this one? The blue section covers. Dragonette. They must be smaller ones. There's a bloke riding on this one. Ah, British Spitfire Dragonette. Dragonette. Something. Uh, Dragonette. Uh, two different eggs, depending on the species, different sizes. Um, a one that looks like a rock and a massive rock. Yeah. This looks a bit like a Velociraptor with wings, this, doesn't it? Yeah. There's so many different types of dragons. There are lots of different types some of dragons. Some that breathe fire, some that breathe ice. Yeah, all different things. A wyvern. I believe a wyvern is one that, uh, yeah, it, does, it only has two legs. Because it's, uh, its arms so go in. A cow, I think. Can't tell. I think that's a cow that that one's carrying off to mm. eat it. Probably going to eat it, I would say. Well, yeah, because the wyvern only runs on two legs because its arms go into its wings. But it can, by the looks of it, on this Asian wyvern, show it there, uh, stand on those as well to crawl. Yeah, so some lovely pictures in there and it goes into a, quite a fair bit of detail about the author. William O'Connor is an author and artist of the best-selling Dracopedia book series. We do have um, uh, all of the books in this series, so we will... Uh, do some more videos of them in the future but that was just to give a very brief overview of the book Dracopedia Field Guide um, you can get it on Amazon and we very much recommend that you pick it up so that's Dracopedia Field Guide by William O'Connor um, lovely book we've enjoyed sharing it with you um, thank you very much for watching and we will see you in the next video bye bye